Hi, I'm Anne from San Diego. Before I tell you my story, please like and subscribe. I was born to wealthy parents who really wanted one thing in the world. No, not me. When the nurse handed me to them, they were weeping with disappointment. I told you, I didn't want a girl. I wanted a strong, healthy boy, not a weak little burden on me. But I was far from weak. My lungs were strong, and I'd scream if mom put me in my cot. And when I slept on my parents' bed, I'd kick dad really hard. Eventually, he just left to sleep elsewhere, and I had so much more space. Soon after, I had learned to crawl. I sneaked into the library once when dad had some guests over. I climbed up his bookshelf, sending a crystal figure crashing to the floor. When he took me off, I pulled his hair as hard as I could. He screamed like a baby, and it took mom and two servants to get me off his head. Dad was just his bad-tempered self with me and mom. Until one day when I was three, mom found out that she was pregnant. And when dad found out it was going to be a boy, he danced with joy. He looked like a silly monkey. When Zach was born, I thought he was the most perfect baby. But as he grew older, he didn't always behave like regular kids. He wouldn't respond to his name and hardly ever made eye contact. Mom wanted to take him to a doctor, but dad just brushed her off. You and your stupid imagination. My son is completely fine. When Zach turned three, dad threw him a grand birthday party. But Zach seemed super scared of all those people. He hid under the table and dad pulled him out. Come out, son. I've got something fantastic for you. Dad led him outside and everyone followed. And just then there was a burst of fireworks and Zach totally lost it. Make it stop, stop it, make it stop. I ran to hug him as he kept screaming while dad looked shocked. My parents took him to the doctor the next day and Zach was diagnosed with autism. What? All I wanted was a normal son for God's sake. Why can't I have one, just one? This is all your fault, woman. And after that day, dad was never the same with Zach. He would mostly ignore him or yell at him when he threw a tantrum, which made me so mad. Dad, he can't understand what you're saying. How is that my fault? He's been screaming for ice cream for 10 minutes. Take him away, he's driving me mental. Dad was crazy, but luckily I could always calm Zach down. When I was in the third grade, We'd gone to the mall with our parents when suddenly, Zach ran up to someone's pram, snatched the baby's pacifier and put it in his mouth. And the baby's mom went bonkers. You disgusting child, what are you doing? I'm really sorry, my brother is autistic. He doesn't always understand things. So what, your brother is a little thief. And if I was his mother, I'd slap him. Are you a moron? I just told you he has a condition, you dumb, ugly woman but she leapt forward to snatch the pacifier from Zach and I bit her arm really hard. She yelled in pain and ran away. Just then, I turned to see dad behind me and I knew I was in trouble, but instead, he hugged me? Aren't you a tough little thing? You always were. Why didn't I think of this before? From now on, you'll be my son. His what? And before I knew it, we were already shopping for boys clothes and shoes. And the next day, he took me to the barber and got my hair snipped off. It was crazy. But for the first time in my life, dad was praising me and paying attention to me. And well, I liked it. Mom was shocked when she saw my hair and started to cry. Mom, don't be sad. It's my new look and it's cool. Dad says I'm tough like a boy and I can do anything boys do. It seems fun. Mom still looked sad, but she didn't say anything more. After that, dad would take me out for a run every morning. He taught me football and karate during summer break. At first it was really hard, but slowly I got stronger and better. When I went back to school, I totally shocked the boys by beating their butts at sports. I got selected for the football team and I became friends with a boy, David. Since Zach had joined my school too, I soon introduced the two. And David was always super sweet with him. And as we grew older, I sometimes felt I liked David more than a friend, but I was sure he'd never see me that way. I was just his buddy. Years passed and life was better. Since I'd become really good at football and dad was so happy with me, he'd be less mean to Zach and mom too. And Zach was my biggest fan. He'd be there to watch every match and cheer me on. Once in the eighth grade, 
I just sat down on the bleachers during halftime when Zach came running to me and jumped in my lap. You're the best player, the best, the best. He started kissing my cheek when suddenly I noticed this new cheerleader, Rebecca, looking at us with disgust. Ew, can you two boys please go make out somewhere else? What, are you crazy? I'm not a boy and he's my little brother. Well, he's not that little. Why is he acting like a baby? Uh, he's autistic. Oh, he's one of those. Ugh, I'm so sorry, your brother is a weirdo. What? I was about to yell at her when suddenly David called me back to the field. Just then, I saw Rebecca smile at him and he winked at her. After we won, I spotted him talking to Rebecca and I could tell from a mile away that she was flirting with him. I felt really jealous. A few minutes later, he came running to me with a stupid grin on his face. That new cheerleader, Rebecca, she's really pretty, right? And so cool. I think she's a witch. She called David a weirdo. I I'm sure she was just kidding. She doesn't know about his condition. Man, I can't stop thinking about her long hair and those beautiful eyes. And what do you call that thing that girls put on their eyes? Wait. What am I thinking? You wouldn't know the first thing about makeup, dude. He playfully punched my arm and I felt like punching his face. Why was he being such a blind dummy? And I wasn't a dude. I'd show him. My chance came just a few days later when we had the annual spring dance. Now David would see I was as pretty as any witch. I didn't have anything to wear except a dress mom had forced me to buy last Christmas and I stole her makeup and heels. I also put on some of her hair extensions and I thought I looked pretty great. I couldn't walk out of the house like this in front of dad, so I sneaked out of my window. As I nervously walked into the hall, I could feel all eyes on me. Just then, Rebecca came to me and started laughing. <laughs> Did someone tell you it's a costume party and you decided to dress like a clown? Who wears an orange gown and your makeup is hideous? And whose hair are you wearing? Suddenly, she pulled off my hair extensions and started waving them around for everyone to see. As people around us laughed, I was about to attack her when my eyes landed on David. He was laughing too. I just turned around and left the dance in angry tears. Later, as I was crying in my room, I felt someone's arms around me. It was Zach. Why are you crying? Because people can be so mean sometimes. But you're the best, the best, the best. I hugged him tight. Zach was one person who couldn't care less if I looked like a boy or a girl. He just loved me for me. The next day in the corridor, I saw David with Rebecca and her friends. She gave me a nasty grin as she walked by me. But David pretended like he hadn't even seen me. Seriously? Before practice that day, I barged into the boys' locker room and pushed David against the wall. What's the matter with you, jerk? You're ignoring me when I should be ignoring you for the rest of my life. What did I do? You just stood by and laughed while Rebecca bullied me. Well, why the heck were you dressed like that, Anne? You kind of made a fool out of yourself. And Rebecca's my girlfriend now. What did you expect me to do? She's your girlfriend now? We've been best of friends since we were kids. I expected you to stand up for me, but you're just a stupid coward. Am not. Are too. A big, stupid coward. Stop saying that. Or what, you'll fight me? Well, I'll beat your butt, and then I'll get you suspended for hitting a girl. Because in case you forgot, I am a girl. I pushed him away and stormed off. After that, we didn't talk at all. He was always around Rebecca and the popular kids. And I was just glad summer break was starting soon, and I wouldn't have to see their faces for a while. Dad had gone on a business trip for a few months, and I decided to grow my hair out, and Mom took me shopping for some nice clothes. I was a girl, and I wanted to look like one. And I could still enjoy football or do anything I wanted. On the first day of ninth grade, I had lots of heads turning as I walked into school. As a bunch of boys and girls gathered around me, I suddenly saw David from a distance drinking water and he spat it out when he spotted me. He couldn't stop staring at me till Rebecca came around and elbowed him hard in the ribs. I was having a good time in school, but just a few days later, I walked into the playground to find Rebecca snatching a piece of paper from Zach and laughing. What's this dumb drawing? It looks like a two-year-old made it. No, my cat can probably draw better than this. You're stupid, aren't you? And with that, she tore it in half. I leapt forward and attacked Rebecca. 
She was no match for my strength and screamed like a banshee for help. Just then, I felt myself being pulled away by David. Hey, pick on someone who can fight back at least. I slapped his face hard. Why don't you tell that to your stupid girlfriend who was picking on my brother? Just then, David saw Zach crouching on the ground, holding the pieces of his drawing. I, I, I made it for you, David. It's your favorite football player. It was your birthday gift. I made it for you. It was David's birthday. And Zach had remembered? David stared at the drawing in shock. And I took Zach's hand and left. I went straight to the principal and complained about Rebecca. And she said she'd look into the matter immediately. That day after school, I took Zach to the amusement park to cheer him up. It was his favorite place in the world. He loved the big Ferris wheel and wanted to ride it 20 times. When we finally got off, we suddenly saw David standing in front of us. I... I thought I might find you guys here. Just let me speak, okay? I've been a complete jerk, Anne. I got so caught up in being with Rebecca and the cool kids. I didn't even notice how awful they really are. I broke up with Rebecca and I also complained about her. She's being suspended. Look, you don't have to forgive me, but I, I just want to say... I'm really sorry for being so stupid and mean. You two are the coolest. And Zach, I fixed this. It's perfect. With that, he showed Zach the drawing that he'd taped back together. Zach gave him a huge smile and ran to hug him. I slowly grinned at him and punched his shoulder as we started walking. That dummy and I would be okay. But when we got home, I had a surprise waiting for me. Dad was back a month earlier, and the minute he saw me... He looked horrified. What? What happened to you? I go away for a few months and you turn into a lame girl? It's all your mother's doing, isn't it? She's brainwashed you. No, Dad. It's you who's been trying to brainwash me. You made me think that there's something wrong with being a girl. Well, I like being one, and it doesn't mean I'm not tough or brave or strong. And you have a son who's amazing, but you act like he doesn't even exist. He's weak, and you're weak. I have the worst kids on the planet. Just then, a football hit Dad in the head. It was Mom. That is enough. I've heard your nonsense for the past 15 years, and I have had it. My perfect kids and I just had the best few months without you, and I'm making it permanent. You want a better family? Go get one. Wow. <laughs> Go, Mom. Mom finally got the courage to stand up to him, and we left to stay with an aunt. Soon, she got a divorce from dad and half his money. And now, we're living our best lives.